What's up everybody? Football and tailgating is back, so let's make one of my favorite chicken dips. The star of our dish is this beautiful whole chicken. We're gonna spatchcock it, season it, and get it on the grill. So the spatchcocking process is pretty easy. We're gonna flip this guy over, and then this is the uh, backbone of the chicken, and I'm using some kitchen shears to cut this out. So just cut along both sides of this backbone. You can also use a sharp knife. I find that these kitchen shears work really well. Now this guy comes out, toss this into a Ziploc bag, put it in your freezer and then use it for a chicken stock, a broth, make sure to save it for later. Once the backbone is out, you're gonna open this guy up and we're gonna crack the breastbone that goes right in the middle. You can cut it with a knife or just kind of use your hands and you can hear it crack open, which will open up our bird nice and wide. The spatchcocking process does is allows the chicken to lay nice and flat and cook more evenly on the grill. It'll also cook much quicker than if I were to roast it whole. So as you can see, our bird now is nice and flat. We're gonna start on the underside. I like to spray it down with a little cooking oil spray. This will allow the seasoning to stick much better. For the seasoning, I'm using Hardcore Carnivore Red. You can use really any barbecue rub that you'd like and just make sure to get the chicken nicely coated nice even layer of the seasoning and it'll stick nicely to that cooking oil. Now we'll flip it over and then repeat on this side. Our chicken is seasoned up. I'm gonna let this guy hang out here for just a couple minutes while I go fire up the big green egg. The big green egg is set up for indirect cooking. So I have the plate setter underneath. I have the grate on top and it's cruising at around 375 degrees. We'll take our chicken, put it right in the center, close the lid and let this guy cook. I'm cooking my own chicken for this recipe. If you guys are in a rush or don't have one, you can always use a rotisserie chicken or any leftovers. The benefit, however, of doing it on the grill is you get that nice smoky flavor. You can apply your own seasoning and really kind of make it your own. All right, our chicken has been on for about an hour. It is temping right around 160. Skin's nice and crispy on the outside. Let's pull this guy off and let it rest. I'm gonna cover the chicken with foil, let this rest, it's gonna allow it to slow down the cooking process, let those juices redistribute and get it nice and tender for shredding. While the chicken is resting, we're gonna start building up our dip. I'm gonna put everything together in my cast iron skillet, just gonna make it easy to get it on and off the grill, plus it makes a cool serving vessel once this thing is done. For my first layer, I'm gonna go with this La Terra Fina artichoke and jalapeno dip. It is nice, creamy, and it will be a delicious base layer. We'll go with our dip right into the cast iron. Spread this out nicely on the bottom. Going with two containers, because this wasn't that much. Next up, we're gonna go with a layer of shredded cheddar cheese. Again, just a nice even layer right over the dip. Next up, we're gonna start on the chicken. This has been resting for about 10 minutes. So we're just gonna start shredding this up. We'll take the uh, thighs and legs out. Look at this, look how juicy this chicken came out. <sighs> Smells amazing. Take that meat, shred, and go directly over the cheese on our dip. This is looking pretty good to me. We used up about half of our chicken. You can save the other half for later or make another dip the next day. Let's finish this thing off and get this back on the grill. Our next layer is a trough hot sauce and Hidden Valley Ranch collaboration dressing. You can use any hot sauce that you'd like or ranch dressing, really make it your own, but just wanna get a nice even layer on top. It's gonna kinda of soak through the chicken, the cheese, get everything nice and creamy. Next up, we've got more shredded cheddar. Wanna make sure you get the edges. It's gonna kinda crisp up the cheese as this is melting on the grill. These are some of my favorite bites of this dip. And we'll add some gorgonzola crumbles. This is gonna really give it a different, unique flavor. These are nice crumbly pieces of this uh, stinky cheese, but this stuff is really good on this dip. So just a light, coating a little bit goes a long way with the stuff so don't go too heavy and finally we'll add some crumbled up bacon on top this is gonna add a nice little crunch and savory flavor to our dip with this dip you can really go a number of different ways i use the uh, jalapeno and artichoke dip i use the uh, trough hidden valley ranch sauce but you can use a regular hot sauce regular ranch or a blue cheese dressing even substitute in cream cheese for the dip, really kind of try out different combinations and see what you guys like. I'm gonna put this back on the egg about 350 degrees until the cheese gets nice and melty, nice and creamy, and our dip will be ready. The dip is on the grill and it's a uh, pretty hearty dip. We've got a lot of chicken, we've got the dip, the cheese, so we need something good to scoop that up and enjoy it with once it's done. I'm gonna slice up this beautiful French baguette, toast it up, and it's gonna be perfect for our dip. I like to cut these at an angle. 
they make nice slices and then they're gonna be nice for toasting up right on the grill so something exactly like that all right this has been on for about 20 minutes let's take a look oh yeah look at that nice and cheesy she's got nice and melty bubbly yeah, let's uh, pull it off and uh, it's ready to go. The chicken dip is off the grill. I took the plate setter out of the Big Green X. Now it's set up for direct hot grilling. So I'm gonna put my French baguette right on the grates. Toast these guys up. These will cook super fast. A couple seconds per side. You can see the charcoal is nice and hot and then these will be perfect for dipping. Our dip is done. Our baguettes are nicely toasted up. Let's, uh, let's give this thing a try. Just going right there. Oh yeah, look at this. Look how creamy and cheesy. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. Wow, that is delicious. It's creamy, cheesy. That trough ranch combo comes through nicely. You get that smoky chicken, this crunchy toasted baguette. I mean, this turned out as good as it could have. Look at that. Cheesy, ooey gooey, oh my gosh. Mmm, so good and so easy to make. If you're having people over for a game, if you're tailgating, this is the perfect dish to serve. You can also prep this ahead of time. Put the whole thing together the night before, pop it in your refrigerator, and then when you're ready, put this on the grill or in the oven, get it warmed up, and it comes out delicious. Mmm. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to get all the notifications, drop a like, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you next week.